This is a demo about the parallax desktop with layers. So we have a desktop here which is quite wide and you can pan the desktop. You can have widgets there as you can see and uh, what makes this different is that uh, instead of having this one layer desktop than we usually have, we have here several different layers with parallax effect. So as you can see here, this provides more like a three-dimensional view to the desktop. And um, you can interact with the widgets at the current layer. So here you can switch the layer uh, from the pager carousel and you can either uh, make it uh, scroll or then you can just tap the carousel here in order to make it switch the layer. You can also tap a widget which makes the uh, layer where the widget is active and then you can return back using the carousel. So for example if I want to play play with the, uh, this widget I can just start to play with it. And we can always add their new widgets. So I do the long press gesture here and then we go to the editing mode and from the top bar we can add new widget to the active layer and while you're in editing mode you can always switch the layer from here uh, let's add there another widget and change the layer again yeah. so now we have their widgets we can also drag the widget to the recycle bin so it removes it but let's put there another widget and the long press again returns to the normal state so uh, now it you can interact the desktop again and one thing I forgot to mention is that in the editing mode you can also, also switch between layers by tapping the widget and let's go back with the long press you can also have applications here so when you are in the normal mode you tap the top bar which opens the application menu you can close it either opening an application and you can minimize the application and you can also close it by tapping outside the application area So uh, let's open a few applications here and minimize them to the task switcher. So let's start the game so you can see that they actually works. And now you have applications here and you can always return back to the application by tapping the icon. You can only close applications from here by tapping the X. And when you remove all the applications from the task switcher, uh, it also removes the bottom bar. So this is pretty much it. So far we will continue the development of this concept. Let's see what we can do for the next time.